What's up YouTube, it's Robo13. Today I'm going to show you guys how to put the Android operating system ice cream sandwich onto your HP touchpad. Okay, so if you guys were lucky enough to get the HP touchpad during the fire sale, uh, I, I was lucky enough to get two of them. I gave one to my dad, I gave one to my girlfriend. This is my girlfriend's currently right now. And I'm going to put Android operating system on this because she really wants uh, Android onto the touchpad because she doesn't really like the web OS operating system on this so, so I said I could do it so I'm going to put this on here and I'm going to show you guys how to do it as well. So the first thing you need to do is download this folder right here it's called touchpad installer I have it in a zip folder and I have the link right here into this word document and I'll put it in the description below so all you guys have to do is click on this and then this will show up and it'll say sorry we were not able to scan for viruses it might say this blah 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 there is no viruses in this trust me please trust me no viruses I made this myself uh, with all the different files that I got from trusted websites and put it on one zip folder so it's easy for you guys to install and download. So all you have to do is click download anyway. It'll then come down here. It says touchpad installer.zip. And once this is fully installed, or once this is fully downloaded, it's about 186 megabytes. It should be pretty quick depending on your uh, internet connection. So once this is fully downloaded, which it will about to be, then you will want to, okay, then you're going to click on it and click on show in folder. And now it'll show up right here. All you have to do is drag and drop that folder or that zip folder to your desktop, just like that, and click X. And now this was hidden. Okay, so now I have both of these, and this is what you're going to get. This is what you currently have. So you just need to right click on this, click extract here, and it'll extract your thing. Uh, I'm just going to say yes to all because it'll uh, replace this. Okay, and then you'll get a new folder called touchpad installer, just like this. Open it up, and you have all these different. Uh, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different uh, programs and folders and files and crap in that actual touchpad installer folder. You need all of these to get it to work, but I have them all uh, ready to go for you, so uh, it's really, really simple and easy. Okay, then the first step you need to do is click on this universal novacom installer.jar. Now, this is a Java uh, program, so if you don't have Java updated or installed, you're going to need to go do that before you do this, but I'm sure all of you do. Uh, this is a, a Java program again, so you're going to double click on it. So it's going to show up just like this. It's going to say install Novacom. You're going to just click on that. Then you're going to click on download. And now it'll download the Novacom drivers that you need uh, for your computer to talk to your HP touchpad. Uh, this is all safe. Trust me, it's safe. I've done this before on this computer. And it's I got it all from trusted websites. So please uh, just, just follow, follow what I say. And I'll show you exactly how to do this. So once it's installed, you're going to click OK. And now you're going to want to go find those actual folders and files that were created from that program. So typically it's going to be saved in your program files folder. So you guys are going to hit the start button, go to computer, then you're going to go to the local disk C drive, scroll down to where it says program files, not program files uh, x86, just program files, double click on that, scroll down to where it says palm incorporated, p-a-l-m comma space i-n-c, okay, double click on that, and you should see everything except for these two folders, okay. So you're going to have Novacom COMD, uh, you're going to have Novacom D terminal and Novacom.exe. Okay, you need those for this to uh, work. So once you get those installed, you're going to want to remember where those installed to. It, typically, it's going to be your local disk, program files, Palm Incorporated, because we're going to need that in, a, in the next step. Okay, so after that, you're going to grab these two from the touchpad installer folder that I created. Uh, you're going to go back to here where it says ACME Acme Installer 2 and Acme Uninstaller. You're going to grab both of those files and drag and drop them into the new Palm Incorporated file that we found. Okay, drag them into there so it should look like this. Novacom D Terminal, uh, the two folders that you just put in, and then Novacom.exe. Okay, after you get that, then you can exit out of that and you're good to go. And now the next step is to actually get your touchpad into a, into the state where you can actually uh, see it on the computer. So you're just going to need to hook it up to the USB. And I'll show you guys exactly how to do that on my other camera. Okay, in order to do that, you need to plug it into the USB into your computer. So I have it plugged into my HP touchpad into my computer. And you're just going to turn on the HP touchpad. And it should say right up there, uh, USB drive. So I'm just going to hit USB. And then I'm going to hit the OK button when it comes up. All right. And now you're going to get this little box that has a USB symbol in it. So then it's now connected to your computer. And now right after that, you're going to go up to your uh, computer, go over to where it says the F or the E, whichever one says HP touchpad. Okay. Double click on that. And now you're going to need to 
uh, I'll just delete this so you guys will understand it better. So you're going to need to make a new file, okay? And you're going to need to name it exactly the same thing that I name it. Go to New, go to Folder, and this needs to be in the exact same place where I'm putting it right now, in the HP Touchpad. So go to Computer, HP Touchpad, right where all these folders are, you're going to put this brand new folder, okay? You're going to name it CM Install. C M I N S T A L L. No capitals, all lowercase. That's exactly what you need to call it. That's exactly where it needs to go, or else this will not work. Okay. Once you get that, uh, the new folder, double click on it. And now you're going to drag and drop every other zip folder that you have in the original uh, uh, program file thing that I gave you at the beginning. So it's the update dash CWM, uh, update dash CM, Mobu. And the gaps dot and the gaps slash ICS, which stands for ice cream sandwich. Okay, so you're gonna need all those folders. You're gonna drag and drop all of them into the new CM install folder that you just created on the HP Touchpad. Okay, so now this will copy it all over. And after this, we're almost done, guys. It'll be really simple after this. Okay, once you get all of those folders uh, dragged and dropped over for the zip, you're going to keep them zipped. Do not unzip them. That is very important. Do not unzip them. Keep them zipped in the uh, HP Touchpad CM install folder uh, because the HP Touchpad needs to be able to read it like that. Okay, once you get that, you're good to go. All right, once you get all the folders in there, you're going to eject the HP Touchpad. You're going to click, right click and then hit eject. Now it's good. You should get the thing down there. It's safe to remove. Okay, and now you don't have to worry about that anymore or even this okay so now the HP touchpad is good to go now you need to open up your command folder hit the start button type in CMD and hit enter okay you're gonna get this little black box so now what this does is we need to go find that directory that we uh, uh, the palm incorporated in uh, directory so that's really easy to find you're just gonna type CD backslash okay you should get to the C drive now and now you're at the very root of the computer pretty much so now you're gonna type in CD and it depends on where you had it at, but I had it at the program files. So now I'm going to follow the steps to get to that folder. So I had it in program files. So I'm going to go program files, enter. So now I'm in the programs file. And I'm going to type CD again. Then it was in, after program files, it was in the palm, uh, comma, incorporated. So I'm going to type palm, comma, INC. Okay, enter. And now I'm in the palm incorporated folder. So now I'm going to type in DIR after I get to that point. Hit enter, and now show all the uh, stuff that's in that folder at that point. So now you guys can see the ACME, the Acme Installer 2, the Acme Uninstaller, the Novacom Dead EXE, Novacom C, or the Novacom D, and the terminal that we all uh, put in there at the beginning. So now once you see that, you know you're in the right place. And after that, you need to go back to your touchpad, and I'll show you guys that on my other camera. And now once you're back to your touchpad, you're going to go into the settings. You're going to hit the uh, center button or that little button down there. Go to settings. Go to device info. And hopefully you guys can see it. I should. You're going to hit the reset options red button down there. And then when you hit this top button restart. Hopefully you guys can see that. Restart the top button right there. You're going to. Once you hit that and it starts to restart. You're going to hold in the top volume up button. This will put it into the recovery mode that you need to put it in. In order to put the uh, Android operating system onto it. So you can hit restart. And then once it says. Once it shows the little spinny symbol in the middle, you're going to start hitting the volume up button right there. So now hit the volume up button, hold it in. Just the volume up button, nothing else. All right. And if you did it right, it should come to this where it shows the little USB symbol on your touchpad. If you didn't do it right, just turn the device back on and go through those steps again until you get to this uh, part. And once you get to this part, then you're good to go to go back to the command prompt and type in the rest of the code to uh, put Android operating system back on this device. All right, and once you get the USB symbol put onto your device and it'll be in the recovery mode, as you guys can see uh, with the USB symbol, then you're going to type in the following code. And after you get to this part where it says C, program files, palm, comma, incorporated, uh, you're gonna type in this next part. You're gonna type in Nova, com, N-O-V-A-C-O-M, space, boot, space, M-E-M, colon, and then four slash, four slash, less than, space, A-C-M-E, installer. All right, so now you should, or installer two, okay? So make sure you guys have that code correctly written. I'll zoom 
I'll make that bigger so you guys can see it. Uh, say C program files, comma, blah, blah, blah. And when you get to here, Novacom boot mem colon slash slash less than acme installer 2. Okay. This will just take the acme installer that you had in that folder and then run it on the actual touchpad since you're in the recovery mode. So once you guys have that uh, exactly written, you're going to hit enter and then you guys will be able to see what's going on on the actual touchpad uh, once it is uh, started. So you're going to hit enter and now you should go through the uh, command and there it goes. So now if you look on the touchpad, you have a million different lines of code that will be written. Uh, and This is very uh, straightforward. You guys don't have to do anything. Just let it run through this. It might take a little while. It took me about, you know, between two to three, three to five minutes or whatever uh, to go through the whole process. And then once it does, it's going to boot into the new uh, layout. It's going to say HP touchpad. And then it'll say the blah, blah, blah mod. And I'll show you guys that when this is done. Uh, you should see these two little penguins at the top there. Uh, this should be pretty easy. And I'm just going to skip to when this is over. All right, once it gets to the very end, just say preparing to shut down right there at the bottom. You guys might not be able to see this in time. Either way, it'll say preparing to shut down, then it should restart like this, and it'll then show up as this. You're going to hit the volume button to time it out. So now you're going to get to this boot screen where it says uh, Mo Boot 0.3.5, uh, Boots uh, Cyanogen Mod, and then Boot Clockwork Mod, Boot WebOS Recovery, Reboot and Shut Down. So if you guys want to boot back into WebOS, you're just going to have to click on that and then hit the uh, home button to then click on WebOS. But you want to get into the Android operating system, you're going to boot the Cyanogen mod. So this mod lets you do ice cream sandwich on the HP touchpad. So after you get to that, you're just going to use the uh, volume rockers to select which, uh, whichever one you want. That's the, uh, the Cyanogen mod is the actual Android operating system. So you're going to hit the home button and then it will boot right into the actual Android mod. So as you guys can see, it is loading up, and this will take a little while for this to fully load up, but this is the full Android operating system ice cream sandwich on the HP touchpad, as you guys can see right there, HP, HP touchpad. I think this is the 16 gigabyte one, I can't remember, but uh, this will fully work. It'll have everything working pretty much. Uh, the Wi-Fi has some issues every now and then, but YouTube works, Netflix works. Uh, this has a bunch of new updates, especially from the older uh, versions of the Android operating system you can put on it. Uh, this is from Sanogen Mod. I'm probably pronouncing that completely wrong, but either way, thank you for that. Um, all those files that that can make this works. But uh, once this is done, I'll show you guys what it looks like and that it is fully running on the HP touchpad. Okay, once it's uh, you know gone through that whole skateboarding Android thing and you're going to get to this page, you're just going to go through the whole setup process and I'll skip ahead of this really quick. Now here it is. Here's the fully working uh, Android operating system. This is Ice Cream Sandwich once again from the Cyanogen mod. Uh, the one thing I do remember that does not work is the camera. Click on that and it'll say the camera is not working uh, even though the camera sucked on the HP touchpad to begin with anyway. But either way everything will work. You'll have the, if you go into this little icon up here, you'll have the, get rid of that, you'll have the Play Store which is right there which is the Android market. Click on that and then you're gonna have to go through the whole setup process of your account. But the Android market does work. I did install uh, Temple Run and I tried it on this and it works fine. It's a little laggy, but you know either way it does work You can download whatever you want from the Android market. Uh, everything works. It's pretty quick pretty snappy and It just it works perfectly pretty much except for the camera and there's a little bit of lagginess between it But really between these it's not that bad as you guys can probably see in the camera itself uh, You can click on it. You can change live wallpapers uh, say one of that set so now I have that as a live wallpaper, you know, whatever. I, I don't really do Android a whole lot, but I know some of you guys do. So this is how to get uh, Android ice cream sandwich onto the HP touchpad. Again, as you guys can see right there. So if you guys like this video, hit the like button down below. Uh, hit the subscribe button for new videos. If you have any questions, things that went wrong, whatever, leave a comment down below and I'll try to help you guys. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter and send me a message on there as well. I'll try to help you guys there. Um, and send me messages on YouTube or iMessage me. I have all the crap in the description. You guys will see it. So um, if you're on any issues, just send me a message and I'll try to help you guys out. I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks, guys.